Good morning. It's a beautiful day in Glastonbury. Excuse the lack of lip sync. I'm short on time today and I've tried to restart this program and it's not happening so I've just got to go with it. Today is Red Self-Existing Moon Day. It is the fourth day. There you go, as you can see with the blue tack, it's a black square, which means it's a galactic portal day, which means it's a human evolution day. So four, three, two, one. We're in the white world bridger wave spell. And um, what does that mean? Well, it means we're in a different chapter. We're in a different red scroll which began 13 days prior to this wave spell and so that was red galactic skywalker which began on the 3rd of september and that is the most powerful day because it's 13 days of intense process we've already had the first 52 days of the wave spell beginning the 260 day cycle and then we're building on that we've got all the information now in those first 52 days so that we can really start to work on a deeper level and so here we are we've now done that 13 days and we're now going deeper again into refinement in any of these processes, we begin with awakening. That's what the red is in the mind wave spell. And we then go into refinements of that in the next 13 days after that. White World Bridger is about death. And so this is the death card in tarot, if you will, which is all about death and rebirth. What needs to die? in us so that we can live basically that's what white wild bridger is all about the planet is mars and so again about masculine energy very much this time now as we're coming into the autumn equinox on the 23rd so we're on the as i'm making this we're on the 19th today and we're going to go into the dark half of the year on the 23rd. And what does that mean? Well, in Greek myth, it means Persephone goes down into the underworld at this time every year. Check out the Persephone myth and again, see the symbology of it. Libra is the scales, is the adjustment, is in the natural zodiac is the seventh house so it's all about relationship so in terms of the solar wheel we have set off as a hero and heroine in spring at the equinox time then and we've had six months out on the land creating and doing our thing whatever that is uh, so you've been doing your thing for six months. As alchemists, as people who are doing the inner work, the great work, we now see the results of that six months of doing our thing. Okay, And the discerning human being, the Red Skywalker, is then looking at what is working for me, what is healthy. This is really huge now. You know, this is a transition on the planet. What is healthy for me and how do I co-create in a way that is healthy for other people as well and the planet? But the primary focus is the self because it's the self that we come here to embody. It's the you know, we are the expression of the divine. We are God and Goddess. 
in embodiment, in expression. We are here to be inspiration, literally. We're here to co-create with our spirit and our human being vessel. This is our vehicle. This is what we come here at this time to do as part of the, the great story. And how the the 260 day process helps us with that once we become more aware of it is we see that there is a divine story going on that we are a player in that story and that we are conscious creators so it's remembering that this myth that is in so many indigenous cultures especially in north and south america is around the change of how we embody the dream now. This is written in all the biblical stories as well, in all the spiritual great works around this is the end of times. And so the human being who's ready to learn how to do this work is the Red Skywalker. So, are you with me so far on that? So yeah, this, this is huge, you know, it's huge, and I try and communicate that, but of course I'm learning this for myself as well, and I've had an extremely intense three months with my partner, and I've been over in America, and come back to England recently, being on holiday in Greece at the time of Red Skywalker as well. So for me personally, it's about seeing how I could be in my centre during this intense time and new beginnings with my family in a different way what's triggering me, what's coming up that's old story, what feels emotional, this is really key as well, because this, whenever we get triggered, this is old story, this is the ancestral patterning. So today, red self-existing moon, what does that mean? It means how do we self-exist, as in we're not codependent, we're not running inauthentic ways of relating in toxic relationship we are able to be an independent human being who is loving and respectful and who is co-creating with other people in a loving and respectful way and not sacrificing ourselves in order to do that okay so that's a mastery technique of relationship and it, this is key to Libra and how we do relationships so all the planetary alignments are coming up now for us to really get clear about our personal position so it's always about our personal position anytime we're feeling we've got to focus on the other as a priority unless they're a child or a true dependent they can't look after themselves truly then that's an ego device to avoid looking at oneself. Yeah? And the ego is very creative and clever and likes to do what it knows and likes to keep us stuck in old ways of being. But that's not an option now because consciousness is coming in, conscious awareness, and it's time for the sacred feminine to come into balance. So Persephone going down into the underworld is a process that our sacred feminine does every year where we take stock of what has been happening to us in the last six months so we can start to really work with that on a deeper level if we're ready to do that process. I do a Persephone path workshop most years this year i'm starting again i'm going to be doing an in-person 
workshop in Tormson at the Sanger House. It starts on the 27th of September, which is just before the new moon in Libra. So if you want to join me there, it's a small group, it's filling up fast and please get in touch as soon as possible to discuss if this is suitable for you because this is deep work we're going to meet every month and this is a circle of support for women who are working with these ancestral patterns. I'm also going to be doing an online group so wherever you are in the world you can connect to this and again please get in touch if you want to know more about it check out my website flowwithjoe.com and see me on Facebook. This is heartfelt work and I love working with women who are ready to really come into empowerment now and let go of their old stories. So today, all of, all of these individual days link in to specific times and whenever it's a red moon day, red moon is another calendar of the Mayan that is the 13 moon calendar. So the 13 moons happen for 28 days. They begin on the 26th of July every year. They don't change unlike the 260 day wave spell, which is a nine month calendar. So it does change and it's meant to change because it works with specific astrology and it's a birthing process. Okay, so the moon calendar the 30 moon calendar begins each year on the 26th of July and each one lasts for 28 days. So your initiation period was the 26th of July for 28 days. What was happening to you then around awakening, authenticity, being the beacon of light, that's what you're going to be working with for the whole of this current 30 moon cycle. We're now in lunar moon following on from that and we're on the very last day today okay so 28 days we've had of new learning of what's coming in for new learning for us often around the shadow what's been veiled what's coming to light what's coming into conscious awareness and so again you have 28 days worth of information there should you choose to look at it and tomorrow we'll be going into a new 28 day period of alchemy moon which is electric moon so magnetic moon and lunar moon combined what we were initiated with what we awakened to and what's coming around new learning we're now going to be working alchemically with. So again, how amazing is this, that everything just aligns up for us to work with? Because this is how it's meant to be. You know, this is the conscious framework that we're in. This is what astrology is all about. You don't need to know everything about it to work with it either. So you know what's coming up for you. And... My offering is all the tools are out there now to work with it. And if you want to know more about this, then you can work with people to be your guide who know a little bit more about it as you start to learn. And that's what I do in my groups. That's what I do working one to one with people. And that's the nature of me doing these videos is to try and share some of that awareness because the wave spell is incredibly complex of course it is because it's a divinity code it's showing the divinity framework so it is incredibly complex and at the same time we all know what's coming in for us on a given day because it's a repeating pattern so what we're working with specifically today with red self-existing moon the themes will be coming up 
in red self-existing moon period. So that'll be the fourth moon period that we're going into, which we go into on the 18th of October. And that means we're going into Scorpio time soon after. We're going into Halloween coming up. And Halloween is really key for ancestral patterns. It's when the veil is really thin. It's all our intimacy issues coming up. Everything that our ancestors have been dealing with right back to the beginning of time. And this is the amazing thing. Okay, so in my workshops and in my one-to-one -one work, I work with emotional freedom technique. And the reason why this all fits in together is so important. Okay, so if you study psychology, if you study about the mind and how it works, the theories of the mind and how it works, then this helps everything click into place and make sense as to why emotional freedom technique works. So I suggest you check it out. There's a great series on Netflix at the moment in the UK called The Mind Explained. And it really puts it very simply as to how our human being mind works in order to keep us safe. So our ancestors have had experiences for thousands and thousands of years. And in every new generation, that person takes on that amazing learning on a DNA cellular level. Otherwise, every day when we stepped out the front door, we will be starting from scratch and we will be overwhelmed with today's society because we wouldn't know how to keep ourselves safe. So we have this built in mechanism that keeps us safe and keeps us able to function in quite a, an optimum way, if you like. Now, where, that, where this changes is if we've had stress and trauma in our life, and it doesn't have to be big stress and trauma, then our mind changes, our amygdala changes. And it's meant to change because anything that causes emotional trauma we need to know about it and we need to keep ourselves safe and not do it again. Yeah, because it's, it can be life threatening. And again, please do your own research on this. Just check out the amygdala, check out the hippocampus, check out how it works. This is why it's so important and why things are happening on the world stage today in the way that they are because we're still all living these old stories of trauma we're still all living these old stories of lack of wounding because that's what our amygdala focuses on it doesn't tend to focus on the great stuff and happy stuff because we're safe in that environment this is so key that people understand this and why it is essential to do this inner work in this particular way, is to clear off personal trauma story and ways of thinking that are harmful, that are out of balance, and that create beliefs around needing to limit ourselves and carry on in this repression of the sacred feminine and all the gifts that go with the sacred feminine for everyone not just for women you know for everyone but we've all got these old stories running and these old belief systems that are corrupted and that have come from extremely fearful ways of being and thinking and keep us stuck in fear basically so each person at this time has all of that information of all of the previous ancestors happening now this is what i offer you 
okay this is why the the wave spell is so important because it shows us how we're embodying that every day it shows us what's coming in through the conscious framework of astrology of the planets of spirit that's coming in new story for human beings to evolve and in order to embody that we have to heal the old story within each one of us this is the key it's not about what we do outside that comes as a result of what we do inside okay so wherever we've got stuff happening on the outside that doesn't feel good it's because there's a code on the inside of all the things that i just talked about it is complex but there's an incredibly amazing way of working with it that sets us free from running this old projection and this is what red moon is all about it's understanding how the human being is just projecting their story onto the world every day it's not true it's not the story it's a personal story that our mind is convinced has to happen because it's always happened because that is how the emotional mind works that's how the amygdala works and it keeps doing the same old same old because that's what it knows that's the comfort zone and unfortunately the comfort zone is often very uncomfortable and creates extreme sickness for the human being it creates anxiety creates coping mechanisms of eating drinking taking drugs etc to not feel because the past story is so painful and or the individual doesn't know how to be emotionally in their center doesn't know how to deal with their emotions doesn't know how to deal with the pain of them and so this again is what i offer you there are tools out there to do this now an emotional freedom technique is a cutting edge therapy google it check it out there's so many resources out there this is about personal empowerment this is about being emotionally free this is about changing this story so that we come into being self-existing okay so whatever's coming up for you today just to go back to that this is key to what you're going to be working with for the whole 28 days starting on the 18th of october so today be mindful be conscious and allow it all if you can to observe what's happening for you and let go of all resistance the other big astrological news is yesterday saturn went direct after many months in retrograde so we've been going over old ground of patriarchy because this is capricorn Pluto also being in Capricorn. And this is all our shadow stuff. This is all our patriarchal wounding. This is all our masculine wounding around being out of balance in the masculine, and we all are. That's why off you. We're in largely unhealthy masculine of pushing things in a framework around money that money is god that money is everything that money will keep you safe money will give you status money will it will to a degree and but this framework is changing now 
you know, around balance, balance. Yes, we do need to have a roof over our head. We do need to have money. Many people who don't have money now have been uprooted, have been through toxic relationship, have been going through extreme transition and collapsing a house of cards basically in order to let go of the old framework that created the money focus for them and again recognizing that often we use money as a way of avoiding our spiritual journey as a way of avoiding our path as a way of overriding healthy decisions i know i have <laughs> For sure, for years. Oh yeah, just put it on the green card. You know, oh yeah, just carry on doing that job, carry on doing that work, carry on being in that relationship. Even though my spirit is saying to me, stop. Even though my body is saying to me, you've got to stop this. Our body doesn't lie. Okay. So the good news is at this time, it's about Saturn in Capricorn being really disciplined and coming into what changes do I need to make now? What's the new plan for me that sets my heart on fire in a healthy way? Is my gift, is my passion, is what I'm here to share, is my life story rewired, my ancestral pattern rewired, is in truth, is in alignment with health, and is a new structure for me that is coming from a clearer space so really getting into knowing what that is now and doing it taking action when we go into the equinox when we go into libra on the 23rd that is red galactic skywalker day okay so again just to remember that we will be going over our ground of what was happening to us on the 3rd of September for 13 days. And Virgo time, all the time that we've been in Virgo, which is the 23rd of August until the 23rd of September, Virgo is all about health, it's all about being mindful, it's all about the detail. It's all about how to heal our mind and come into balance with the sacred feminine, with the earth, with the unlearning of the corrupted mind. So being able to let go of often formal education in a way that formal education is designed with a specific outcome to fit often a career path. It isn't really geared to the individual unless the individual is being really honest and truthful with themselves and following something that they really are wanting to do. Many people take formal education in the UK. It's a business now. It's very much a business. They take degrees, they get huge debt, and there is no job at the end of it in many cases. So yes, they've got a degree. Yes, they've learned some valuable skills around being disciplined and wanting to develop their mind and their resources all of those are great things the debt thing no 
at one time in the UK that used to be subsidised heavily by our society. Um, but all these things have changed. So it all brings learning, it all brings understanding. And, but the key now in this 13 day process is what needs to die? What of this old world paradigm of these unnatural, unhealthy, living less of a life in order to be safe needs to go? That's the question for each one of us because each one of us is in this with everyone else and that's what we're here to do as the individual player playing the game. So I hope you have an amazing day today of seeing your awakening to where you're self-existing and where you're still running codependency, where, where you're feeling fantastic, empowered, independently able to live and where you're still, there's a part of you that feels a need for something, someone. Because that's the key area of alchemy beginning tomorrow. And tomorrow we go into white overtone dog. And that's mastery of conditional love and the ancestral patterns and being able to let go of that more and more so that we come into the serious code and the overview, the grandfather son of the new code that's coming in, how much we align with it. So lots of love. Please do get in touch if you'd like to know more about how this process works and how you personally can align more and learn more around these new tools to set you free on a personal level and in doing so change the planet how well is that bye for now